Okay, so now we've finished the ultrasonic portion of the cleaning and we're left with a pile of brass that is pretty clean. It's got pretty good primer pockets gotten in there sort of automatically and clean that out to a great extent. And uh, now we're going to do the last phase. We're going to do the tumbling polishing phase here. So we're going to set this aside and I'm going to give you a little glimpse into the system <clears throat> that I use. <clears throat> so what I do is uh, I have some... Uh, walnut shell media that I got from Harbor Freight uh, comes in a box pretty cheap pretty affordable stuff works just fine um, and then I also had I just happened to have a little bit of Lyman tumbling media with rouge now uh, what I've noticed with that using just that product by itself is that everything comes out red now I don't know if there's really necessarily a problem with that but I just wasn't crazy about it so what I've done is I've mixed a small amount of that rouge impregnated material with the dry material and uh, I end up with something about this consistency right here. So <clears throat> with that, I store that media in a plastic jug and I also am going to use some of this new finish car polish. So we'll get started with that process. So now we're going to get started loading our tumbler with our dry media. And I know that I'm only going to do a very small handful of casings for this particular example. Normally, I'm going to do a lot more casings all at once, but it's different now. So I'm not going to put a ton in there. My recommendation to you is to make sure that you put a decent enough amount of this material in here that the casings aren't just clinking around against themselves, but rather they're in more steady contact with the actual media itself. <coughs> now, what I recommend doing here before you actually put the casings in the tumbler is take a little bit of our new finish car polish and do about a capful. It's not an exact science. I'm just going to drip a little bit in here like so. What you'll find is letting this run for a little bit before you put the casings in allows the uh, car wax to circulate around and, and almost impregnate the media just a little bit. Uh, if I throw the casings in there right now, it'll be just fine, but you'll find a little bit of raw car wax stuck in the flash holes, and that's a little counterproductive. So I'm going to run this a little bit, get it mixed up a little, and then we'll put our casings in. Okay, so this tumbler's been running for a few minutes just to circulate that car wax a little. We're going to go ahead and drop the casings in, put the lid on. run for a little while. As far as how long you run this tumbler, uh, it's really preference. You can run it for anywhere from two to three hours, up to four or five hours, depending on what you have in the machine and what type of polish you're looking for. I don't necessarily get carried away, but as I told you, I do like to make them nice and clean. And using that car wax and that little bit of lime and rouge material uh, is really going to put it into uh, overdrive and it'll get polished better in a shorter amount of time. So we'll see when this process is done. Okay, now that our tumbling process is complete, uh, I've only tumbled this uh, stuff for maybe one hour, maybe just over an hour, so it really hasn't been tumbling all that long. Uh, it's very common that it gets tumbled for a lot longer. Uh, now here's uh, just an example of the process that I do. Again, from a budget standpoint, just using things that I have around the house. I've got a little bucket right here, and it just so happens that the lid from my tumbler will fit right down in here just by compression it'll sit right inside like that so I just put a little bit of pressure and then all I'm gonna do is take this media with the casings and just dump it in and I'm gonna shake it a bit and then at that point it's very easy to pull these casings out and we'll see what we're working with here So there's our finished, cleaned, tumbled, and polished brass. And again, this is just an example of brass that was tumbled for a very minimal amount of time. But with the media that I'm using and with that new finished car wax, it just does an absolutely beautiful job, as you can see. And uh, 
Our primer holes and flash holes, they're okay, they're fine. Occasionally you're gonna see media stuck inside like this, and you're just gonna have to get that out of there. One trick that we can try is putting these back in our little laundry bag and shaking them up a bit just to see if that knocks out some of the media. Now surely there's probably going to be some media still left in some of these just like this one right here. And what I happen to do is I have a little tool right here meant for running cleaning patches and it actually goes right in just like that. Knocks out any problems that I have. It does take a little bit of time but I like to watch that closely just to make sure that uh, everything is working like it should. So that's that. We've gone through uh, the brass reclamation process, getting it from the range, cleaning through the ultrasonic, and tumbling and polishing. Now we have some nice, beautiful brass ready to be loaded.